Today's music is courtesy of Dunsey Dunsmore, who apparently is a friend of Gordon Forbes. Now, I have been sent rather a lot of music through, which I'm having trouble sort of getting my head around at the moment. Obviously, this last week or so has been difficult for me. There are some really good tracks among it, and it's a privilege to be able to use it. So, my apologies to those concerned if I've not given proper acknowledgement. Right, in a moment, I'm going to be showing you a product from Autobrite Direct. A tyre care product which has actually filled a gap in my armoury, more of which I'll go into in a moment. First of all, just like to talk about my review videos. Now, it is a common thing to get comments, you know, making out that I'm paid by these companies to make these reviews, etc. And I fully understand where people are coming from, and I have made one or two videos in the past just to put people in the picture as to how I work. So I'm quickly going to do it again now because there's been a higher incidence than usual of those sort of comments. And then we'll get on to the main subject. Now, I make a lot of videos for products from companies like Lomo Water Sports, Motone Customs, Trip Machine, and like today from Auto Bright Direct. Now, what all these companies have in common is that none of them pay me to make these videos, nor do I get any commission from sales that might result from my video. I think I've only ever made one paid promotional video, which was a few years ago now, and it earned me about the equivalent of a quarter of the national minimum wage for the hours that I actually put into it. The whole thing was a most unsatisfactory experience. Now, do I make money from my videos? Yes, of course I do, because if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to continue with this channel. But that money doesn't come from the companies whose products I review. It comes from the ad revenue that's generated by the adverts that play before, during and after each video. I know a lot of people don't like those adverts, but the cruel reality is, if those adverts weren't there, YouTube wouldn't be here either. And if it was, all you would be watching were paid promotions, because that's the only way that people would be able to continue. Now, the second way that I make revenue from this channel is through my patrons, people who actually pay money every month to keep this channel running. A fantastic bunch of people who ask for nothing in return. And those people for me are the heroes of YouTube because it's not just me, a lot of YouTube channels wouldn't be able to run without people like them. Now, the third and final way that I make money from this channel is through Amazon. Now, I sometimes wonder why I bother, because the amount of revenue that I actually get from Amazon is minute, but this is how it works. I don't get anything free from Amazon to review. When I see a product that I think may be worthy of bringing to your attention, I buy it. If it's any good, I make a review on it, and I leave an Amazon link in the video description. And that link takes you to the product page. Now, the price you pay for that item is exactly the price you would pay if you'd found it yourself and decided to buy that product. But I get 1% of sales. Actually, in some cases, I get less than that. Now, I take that payment, if you like, as an Amazon voucher. And guess what I do with those Amazon vouchers? I use them to buy more products for review. Now, if these products are no good, well, I've got a box full of stuff that I've bought from Amazon that's no good that you've never seen a review on that I never use either. And I might add, even those companies that I do review items for, you don't see all of the items that they send to me. I only show you the ones that I truly believe are worthwhile. Now, this is only a modest channel, it's not a big channel, but it is growing slowly but surely. And this is the only way that I can achieve that growth without blowing my pension every month and leaving myself destitute. And any brownie points that I do score with those companies is usually traded off as some sort of channel discount for you. So really, for viewers, it's a win-win situation. So I hope that's cleared things up for some people. Right, so now for the main subject of this video, Auto Bright Direct. Now, Dale from Auto Bright approached me about six or seven months ago. He was actually a viewer 
who ran a family owned valeting product company. Now I've got to admit when he did approach me I sort of rolled my eyes because valeting products are ten a penny and there are very few worthwhile valeting products on the market. Most of it is just overpriced junk and I couldn't really see why a small family owned business could provide products that were better than those that the big boys can make. But I was actually very surprised by the high quality of his products. In fact, don't tell him, but some of them I found to be quite astounding, like the one I'm going to show you today. Now, in order to show his appreciation both to me and to you, and in order to help people out a little bit during this lockdown, Dale has increased the amount of discount that he's giving to viewers of this channel to 15% until the end of this year. Now that channel code is Fulfillingham15. It is case sensitive, so be sure to use it exactly as it is in the video description down below. And that's 15% off any of Dale's products apart from electrical goods like power washers and polishers that kind of thing now a few years ago i made my very first motorcycle cleaning video and the expression the full filling in was born now in that video i showed a tire dressing by a well-known manufacturer of bike valeting products a water-based tire dressing that when it was fully dry was waterproof it lasted a long time and there was nothing else quite like it on the market. In fact, the problem with it was it lasted too long so customers didn't come back and buy more. Not for many, many years anyway. So the company concerned withdrew it from the market shortly after I've made that video. Now, since then, I've been unable to locate a suitable alternative. And again, I get emails or I get comments on that video asking me all the time for an alternative because it's been discontinued. And about four months ago, Auto Bright Direct sent this through. This is a water-based tyre and rubber dressing. It's from their Hellshine range and it's called the Dungeon Master. And I have to admit, when the first sent it through, I was a bit sceptical and I wasn't prepared to review it until I'd given it a thorough testing. Now, it says on the bottle that it's designed for cars and motorcycles, so I've tested it extensively for four months on both my bikes and on myself and my partner's cars. A little bit of this product goes a very long way and despite extensive use of this product, as you can see, I've not used much at all. In fact, as far as retail sales are concerned, I do believe that Auto Brake Direct may have made a little bit of a mistake here because a bottle like this is going to last your average bike owner for years, maybe even decades. Because for your average guy that only uses his bike for pleasure, that maybe only does three or 4,000 miles a year, is probably only going to need to apply this at most, maybe twice a year, because it does last a very long time, especially if your bike's garaged and you're particular about what weather you're riding. In fact, when I very first got this product, I used it on the Interceptor. I've not used it since. And the waterproof coating that this product leaves on your tyres is still going strong. It's been almost four months and it still beads up. Now that's all very well for a cosseted motorcycle that's kept in a garage. But I can confirm that on a car that's used in all weathers every day, it lasts three to four weeks. Understandably, there is some wash off over time when it's used in wet weather. But for longevity, in my book, that puts this product at number one of all these type of products that I've ever tested. Comparable only with that product I mentioned before, which is no longer in production. Now, to achieve this sort of durability, manufacturers usually use a silicon based solution which you can get away with on a car, but on a motorcycle it's not a good idea. Silicon based products tend not to dry the stale liquid and simply sit on the surface of the rubber. This means that as it is still a liquid, centrifugal force while you're riding will throw it to the outer edges of the tyre and onto your tread. And since silicon is a very good lubricant, that sometimes doesn't end well. This Dungeon Master tyre dressing 
is water-based. It doesn't contain any silicon. And what's even better is that over a half hour period after you've applied it, it dries out completely to a nice satin finish. Now, the first time you treat any tyre with this product, or any product like it for that matter, I would recommend that you give the tyre a good thorough clean or scrub with some warm water with a good solution of quality shampoo. And I can confirm that any of Autobrite Direct's car shampoos are suitable for this job and then allow your tyre to thoroughly dry before application. Rubber, as we know, is slightly porous. That's why it is quite important if you want to keep that tyre looking good and in good condition, preserving its longevity, that you seal out the elements. Because with water ingress comes dirt, and your tyres take on that ugly sort of grey-brown patina I know some people don't mind it, if that's the case, you know, there's no need for you to bother. But if you're only doing low miles on your tyre, regular treatment with something like this will make those tyres last longer before they start to degrade and start cracking. After your first application, leave it for half an hour, after which time it should be dry, and then put a second coat on. This just fills in the coating on any areas that are particularly porous and have gone dull as it dries. Now, long term, I haven't experienced any problems with this product flaking or cracking, which is something you can experience with cheaper products. And as I've said, durability is about the best I've come across. Now, this is a liquid product. It has the consistency of, well, sort of like milk. And it is best applied with a sponge applicator. Now, Autobrite Direct do sell these sort of applicators. But if you don't want to go to the expense of using those, you can simply buy a cheap car sponge and cut it up and use that. Although, I should warn, you may use a bit more of the product doing it that way. Now, as I've said, it does become touch dry in about half an hour, and it was a pretty dull, damp day when I was doing this. So, theoretically, half an hour after your second coat, it should be fine to ride. But my experience of this product, if you want that water repellency, is that I would leave it overnight. So, treat your bite the day before a rad and let it cure overnight because treating it and then going for a rad in wet weather an hour later is going to cause excessive wash off. Autobrite do recommend two coats of this especially on the first treatment. You can put more coats on but be aware with two coats you get a nice satin new tyre look. If you put too many coats on it starts to become too shiny and doesn't look quite right to my eye although you might prefer that but either way as it stands at the moment for a tyre dressing that's safe for use on motorcycles this is unbeatable now i haven't tried it on any black plastics and as far as i'm aware it is designed for rubber only not for plastics but it also works really well on rubber hoses for your cooling system and I always think that looking after the rubbers on a bike is just that final touch that you can give your bike to give it that just out of the showroom look. You know, it's great polishing up all your paintwork and bright work, but dirty, grotty tyres really stick out. And your tyres deserve a bit of love as well. As usual, I will leave a link to Auto Bright Direct's website so you can have a look at this and their other products. I'll also leave that new 15% discount code. And remember, it is case sensitive, so use it exactly as it's written out in the product description. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and in doing so, helping to support my channel. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell and ensure that your notifications are enabled in your settings. That way, you will get alerts whenever I upload a new video. Now, before I go, I would like to say a big thank you to all the well wishes that I received on the Millie video on Wednesday. Both myself and my partner were overwhelmed by it. You really are a fantastic bunch and I'm lucky to have you. I will, of course, be back next week, so until then... Please, if you have to ride, ride safely, and I'll see you soon.